You're listening to littlepodcast.com. Why you gotta take it there? Three take. This is a good one. We're not talking about any integrity. We are world. trying to exploit a generation. Did I ever tell you about that time when I paid for Chinese food with the DVD? The grease is the gravy. You just played footsie over the table. No. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> irrelevant. I can smell Pepto Bismol from here. It tastes like an antacid tablet. Why are there so many Draculas everywhere? <laughs> no. No. There's vampires. Potato vodka. Welcome to Born in the 80s, episode 178. I'm your host, John Rowe, joined by my co-host... Adam Ham. It's 176. Sorry. That's what I thought. Yep. I was off. I was, I was trying to get my intro in. I was, I was in a different mind palace, Adam. Yeah. The mind palace of plus two. Your mind palace has many grounds. Mm-hmm. This is the mind palace of plus two, where everything is just two more than you were expecting. Sounds like a terrible place. It is, you know? It's really hard. Yeah. When I get there with my friend, I'm like, dinner for two. And they give me four meals. Mm. It's a real shame. Pain in the ass. It's a P-I-T-A, Adam. Mm-hmm. As they call it. A pita, a pita. if you will. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Greek invented it. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> because, you know what I'm saying, the Greek are quite the pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> politics. Um, that's going on, I'm sure. Yeah. Something's happening in Greece. Yeah, they're bankrupt. Know. They're just like, I mean, the whole country's like, nah, we're not paying it back. <laughs> <laughs> the entire country is the deadbeat dad. Mm. You know, it's like, nah. Hey, uh, EU, we're going out for smokes. We'll be mm-hmm. back. Maybe. No, definitely be back. And then they just don't show up for 20 <laughs> years. And they say they want the Parthenon back from England. Yeah. Wow. What are they going to do with it? What? Sell it off? <laughs> <laughs> Highest bidder? Back to England? I see. Need some of that fat tourist cash. That's right. Except for nobody really goes to Greece. I don't think it's a big tourist destination. You went there, didn't you? No. What the fuck no, is wrong No, no, that you? was... Um... Well, they had those trips. You went to the France one. There was also right, like I went to France. I was going to go with my good friend Adam, but he bailed. <clears throat> Adam was poor, so well, he had to bail. No, Adam wasn't poor. Adam was poor. Well, Adam's family know, was poor. I was poor as well. No. <laughs> I had Adam's, nothing. Adam's, Adam's my, family was poor. I had my allowance. Yeah. Um, I didn't get an allowance. What? No. I never well, had an why did, This is why, Adam, I've discovered your laziness. <laughs> It's the no allowance. Yeah. I was given an allowance, but it was because I had to do chores. Well, here's the fun part. And if I, didn't I did do chores, chores, I did chores, and I didn't get paid for them. Yeah, that's because you were a fucking all-day sucker, Adam. <laughs> Your parents saw you a mile away. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. Yeah. You could have you could have been, uh, been getting that fat allowance Could have been getting cash. those fat stacks. Yeah. You know? Mm. That's what I say. That's what I told my parents. I was like, give me them fat stacks. I don't even know how much I got. I feel like I, when I was really young, it was like $5 a week yeah. for like mowing the lawn and doing the laundry. Or, well, I never did laundry. Mom always did laundry. But yeah. mowing the lawn was a big one. Um, cleaning up, you know, like doing dishes and stuff. Like that was right. That was the chores. And if we did the chores, we got the paid. We got, got the five spot once yeah. a week. I promptly spent it on Pokemon cards and Beanie Babies immediately. Hmm. As I'm I sure a, I would have, too. I had a Garfield bank. I yeah. used to store money in. I bought my first uh, Nintendo that way. Yeah. Used, of course, in, like, 1995, so way after it was popular. Yeah. Um, my parents were more on the, the zero-budget plan. They're like, you tell me what you want to do, and we'll see if we have the money for it. <laughs> I see. Yeah, mine was like, well, save up. Depending on my request, I was like, yeah, that that's worth it. Or I think it was... No, that's stupid. You're not getting money for that. Ten bucks a week later, and then I think 20 when I was in high school, but that was for, like, gas and everything, you know? Yeah. So it was like, you're doing shit. And I also had a job in high school, too. Adam couldn't be bothered. No. Actually, my, my dad did not want me to work in high school. What? He wanted me to focus on my schoolings. Oh, yeah, it worked out. Yeah. Totally. Right? <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're his rules, not mine. <laughs> I just followed him. Exactly. 
Oh, shit. Sorry, Adam. I'm being harsh. I'm ragging on you. Nah, it's okay. No, you're good now. Yeah, Everything I'm worked fine. out in the end. Yeah, totally. Just not the exact route I think was planned. Yeah, no, that's that's accurate. That's that's how it is, though. You know. Yeah. It's a long and winding road. True. Bum 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 bum, as the Beatles would say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. So, speaking of long and winding roads, yeah, what were you up to this weekend, Adam? It was th- this is this was the Independence Day weekend. It was. Adam is independent. You were Miss Independent. No, I I was dependent upon <laughs> others for survival. Others for survival because we went camping. So, what's a camping weekend for you, um, Adam? I don't see you outside ever. Yeah. That's why it's kind of interesting. Because last time I saw you outside, it was you falling over yourself onto the ground. That's that is absolutely true. Uh, Adam <laughs> fell out of his doorway. I did. I witnessed doorway. it. It was a full. I appreciated too because sometimes when you fall, you like try and like, you know, like yeah. stop yourself. Uh huh. Right. And you right. just gave up. I did. You just you rolled. You're just I was like, halfway ah. through. Well, this is the best part. I was, like, halfway through, and I tried to, like, I'm just going to roll through it. And then I couldn't roll through it. So I just, like, ended up flat on my back. Like, Yep, just splayed out. And you're like, well, that yep. happened. Yep. <laughs> it's all right. Let's go. Let's go uh, to Wendy's. <laughs> yep. That worked out. No, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not a nature guy. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the idea of nature. I like the thought that you like to are. view nature from a distance? Yeah, like I like pictures of nature, paintings. Documentaries. Documentaries. Yep. I, like to, I like to know that nature's out there. Yeah. I just don't want to be in it. Fair <laughs> enough. Don't. Yeah. I mean, like a, a park in town is nice. No, it's not. You, I, you've never been to a park in town. I have. When? Uh, we went to like a, a park with a, had an amphitheater for a little concert. When was this? Last, uh, last summer. A year ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it was before, I mean, winter. I mean, it's only getting nice oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's just, you know, yeah. middle of July or early yeah. July. Yeah. It's only been good for, like, you know, two and a half months. I'm not the person to, you know, go out and take strolls in the park often. Well, maybe, Adam? But on occasion. Maybe you should. No. Fuck you that. could feed those birds. I don't want to feed birds. Tuppence the bag, Adam. No, fuck that. Tuppence the bag. Those Isn't... kid, those fucking kids got allowance. Even Mary did, Poppins, did they? Did they? I believe. Stuff? I believe so. I think that was like that whole point when he goes to the bank and he like gives them their like. Well, allowance. there's the th- oh, here's the thing. Both those kids and you had a banker as a parent. Well, see, well, well. So Ooh. you're are you saying, Adam, <laughs> that I was Mary Poppins's child? <laughs> That was cared for by Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is that since you come from a family of bankers, as did the Poppins children, it was very. It was you very were taught the importance of money. Like, like your father was like it. the your father was like the strict uh, father yeah, yeah. there, who was always teaching the importance of money. Don't don't give the money to those bread people. Exactly is what that gist of that song is. Right. <laughs> don't don't. <laughs> Basically, he w- read a lot of Ayn Rand books. <laughs> he was like, push the poor into the muck. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do as a producer, not mm-hmm. a consumer, whatever the hell those books are about. Trickle down, John. Trickle down. That's right. Reaganomics. Even, yeah. even 1800s England knew. Reaganomics. Exactly. Actually, That's not 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Everyone's dude. They're chimney sweeps. There That's are 1800s. chimney sweeps, but they have chimney sweeps. There are chimney they sweeps today. They don't really have chimney sweeps. There now. are still chimney sweeps today. There are chimney cleaning services. There's not like chimney children anymore. That's but right. There are still chimney sweeps. Well, I want to live in the world of chimney children. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Adam. Remember when we did our uh, that that survey or quiz to see what job we would be? Chimney sweeps. Yeah, don't you remember the, the the quiz that we took to see what 1800s job we would have? And you were lamplighter? I was a lamplighter, yeah. And I, I was chimney sweep. Oh, that's right, you were. Yeah. A regular old Mary Poppins chimney sweep. So, what was the deal with that guy from Mary Poppins? 
uh, Dick Van Dyke? Yeah, yeah. Was he like banging Mary? Like, what was the deal? Oh, uh, he was banging Mary. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's interesting about that? What? So think about. Okay, I'm gonna explain what happens to Mary Poppins to you okay. in a different way. All right. Mary Poppins, right? Mm-hmm. Is the is the nanny of these two children? Right. Takes them off on an amazing adventure. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, an amazing adventure. And sh- who does she bring with them? Her fuck buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Like, she's like, hey, hey, uh, hey, parents, you mind if I bring this disheveled chimney sweep along with your children and me? Right. <laughs> yeah, they're like, whatever. The common folk will figure it out. I'm going off to my bank. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That story's a little bit fucked up. Well, and, like, also, I feel like some like... of the stuff they were doing was dangerous. She takes them to, like, her old man friend, too. Yeah. It's, like, stuck on a ceiling. She just like she's just like let's go let's go talk to a bunch of people I used to fuck. Well, she didn't like, fuck the old dude. He well, was like eighty or something. Well, she is like a magical person who's like you know doesn't age. <laughs> Are you saying her vagina is magical too? No, I'm saying what? she's a Dracula. I wonder if it's bigger on the inside like her bag. Her vagina. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. How does the what is how does the plot of this work? I, I what happens? I, I got to get a plot plot synopsis okay. here. There there is a there's 1910, a thought. 1910. <clears throat> there's a thought that perhaps Mary Poppins is a time lord. Okay. Because she flies in on a Are you saying Doctor Who yeah. next season will like get to Mary Poppins? We're pretty close, yeah. Yeah. We're getting there. Like the master is that crazy. Like, she could be the master. That's true. She's Mary like Poppins got movie. real fucked up. Yeah, the mistress. Um, she flies in on an umbrella, which, yep. you know, shouldn't actually happen. I just want to say this. A queue of elderly sour-faced nannies appeared outside. <laughs> and what happens, Adam? A strong gust of wind blows the nannies away. Yeah. And Mary Poppins descends from the sky. So she used her wind powers yeah. to hurt all of these other nannies in line. Most you probably know, b- witchcraft. Blowing them away. Probably breaking some legs. Yeah. I mean, they're old old ladies. Yeah. Um, she has a bottomless bag, of course. So she's got her TARDIS. Bigger on the inside, yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Time Lord technology. And she also takes them through, like, weird rifts in reality and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Time Lord. Oh, I forgot Dick and Dick's Burt. I forgot Burt was, like, a screever as well as a chimney sweep. Oh yeah, he did the, you do, the you sidewalk do the chalk sketches, yeah. which they, which is what they did. They jumped into the chalk sketches. They did, yeah. That was it, yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> so she transports the group into one of the drawings, right? Mm-hmm. Animated countryside. Sends the killer on the carousel, and she goes off with Bert on a leisurely stroll where they got tea with penguin waiters. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fucking leave the kids on their own. I'm gonna go have a date, you know, mm-hmm. with my fucking. Well, basically, uh, what, what is he? A cockney fucking street person, basically? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then they make up some words. Oh, that's her uncle. Not somebody she banged. Who? Uncle. That's Uncle Albert. Or is well, that like is, Uncle yeah. Albert as in like, oh, this is kids. This is your Uncle Albert, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they have that weird tea party on the ceiling telling jokes. Yeah, that's with the old dude. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the dad starts saying, like, oh, yeah, I like how this is, like, gets bothered by the cheery atmosphere of his family and considers firing Mary Poppins. It's like, no, no, no. He's firing Mary happy. Poppins because this weird, gross chimney sweep guy is hanging around all the time. <laughs> and, like, his kids come back and they're just, like, a little chimney dust on their face, you know, from, like, yeah. dancing around with this guy. They're like, what is going on well, for think real? Think about here? it. The nanny has taken them on a roost and thrown them down chimneys. That's right. So, honestly. That's a pretty good reason to fire your nanny. Yeah. That's just not acceptable. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just Child not... endangerment. It is. That's basically what it is. And uh, I guess in the end, the dad... It's kind of like the, the, the stuffed shirt dad finally learns to be fun. Yeah. 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 That's about it, really. Basically. Interesting story of child endangerment. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well. So. Um, so Adam. <laughs> I went camping. <laughs> went camping. And uh, uh-huh. yeah, I'm not really a nature guy. You're not a nature man. What, no. Adam, can you name an animal you saw or like a plant? Um, I saw a lot of trees. All um, right. What kind no, of no, trees? No clue what kind? I don't know. No, I, I think there was some poison sumac, which was recognized. That's probably. Um, Any, but you some oak trees, I'm going to assume? I, I don't know. We actually went camping. What park did you go to? We didn't go to our normal spot. We went to uh, a place called jubilee state park uh, okay a little bit uh north of peoria near kickapoo illinois all right um <clears throat> it's a nice place Seems we had a nice, nice. little <clears throat> corner alcove it's very small uh it's not big no five square miles wow no it's um they had really nice bathrooms though which is which is key for adam it is. Oh, but when well, you go camping, got the call of nature. I don't want nature in the bathroom. Exactly. There's, so these were real toilets. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, th- they had some like porta potty stuff nearby, but I mean, yeah, yeah. it was a short walk away to some real bathrooms. So yeah, that's always nice. Yeah. So in the middle of the night, when you you know fucking yeah, got to take a trip to drop some bombs over Baghdad. Right. You're gonna want a, you know to do that in a in a lit. Definitely. Environment <laughs> without I mean, I just animals peed in the woods. Well, yeah, so. I mean that's your guy, right? We're, we we are lucky and are yes. able to pee anywhere. Yes, totally. Um, it is our right. No one can tell us we cannot. So this is like a once a year thing that we do every summer. Yeah, yeah. And the this whole is family uh, where you it. got super sunburned that one year. <clears throat> yes, this is the time. That's where I got the death. That's sunburn. when you got skin cancer, basically. Basically, yeah. That's that was the precursor. Probably. Um, probably. And so, like, my brother and my sister both came, and my little my uh, nephew was his first time coming. Okay, the little um, guy. How old is he? Like, three, four? He is almost three. He'll be three in... Okay. September. September. So, um, not, ma- not making memories yet. No, probably not. No. I yeah, believe a lot of fun, you, though. believe the uh, youngest you can be and have memories is four, so... Yeah. Um... But uh, we did over the weekend, and also uh, Peoria, The reason, one of the reasons we went there is Peoria has, like, the biggest fireworks show in the state. Um, yep. Red, White, and Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name. Yeah, it is. Red, White, and Boom. And it, like, uh, I've takes s- I place. think I've seen a porno with that same name. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't yeah. doubt it. Red, White, and Boom. Yeah. Uh, um, and it, Yeah, so we, we went, went camping. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Was it? There was a, they have a camper. Yeah. Uh, but it so was, it's not really camping. I wasn't in the camper. Oh, so you actually camped. Yes. I, I would like to mention I have strange rules. I've, I've discussed my rules for, for what constitutes cooking. Yeah. And I will say what constitutes camping is sleeping in a tent on the ground. Yeah. I, I don't care if you bring a mattress pad, you know, like that's mm-hmm. fine, but you have to be in a tent on the ground. You have to assemble a tent to camp. Yeah, basically. If if you're in a camper, that's uh, you're uh, you're 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 in your camper. <laughs> it's a pop up camper, so it does have to be somewhat. It does have as to well. be. So it's half camping. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like my my mom and and stepdad and the little uh, his daughter and Keegan slept in there. Yeah. Uh, um, and then me and my brother and sister uh, slept in the tent i never like sure we have a really nice big tent that we had it was like a 16 foot by 11 like oh, that's little, huge it has like a little foyer area too even. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So i got like, i got a four-man tent that i use for pretty much everything yeah but, it's uh, uh it's it was really nice we yeah. did however pick the campsite and particularly our tent apparently was on some kind of uh indian burial ground great no grand day you long legs um like summoning point or something because wait what summoning sorry granddaddy long legs oh daddy long legs yeah there's no grand uh, in front of it oh those are grand these were i grand. mean they are grand as a creature these were granddaddies they were they were big legs like big big you know what's crazy about daddy long legs what 
They're their own genus. The harvestmen. They're not even their own. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah. there's spiders, and then there's harvestmen, and their right. harvestmen are just one species, daddy long legs. They're their own evolutionary spoke, basically. Yeah. Which is interesting. It they're is. really cool. I love daddy long legs. They are cool. I killed a lot of them. Um, what? Yeah. You're in their domain. Uh, yeah, but when I put up the tent, it becomes my domain. And once wow. I come near that, I kill them. All right. And uh, trust me, trust me, that place had fucking plenty. This is the same... They were goddamn everywhere. This is the same mantra the um, America... Ha- you know, this is very reminiscent of perfect uh, uh, Independence Day. This was Adam going west <laughs> and into the Daddy Long Legs <laughs> land and, and uh, giving them smallpox blankets... Well, you know, another spider, uh, an actual spider, not a yeah. uh, day long legs. Um, mm-hmm. We got a yellow one bit Ryan <laughs> <laughs> on the trip, so <laughs> it was actually right when we were packing up to leave. So oh we, yeah, we made it mostly you. spider free, but mm. I bit him. Um, yeah, they're not too bad though. Yeah, yeah, garden spiders aren't really going to do anything. Yeah, it was a yellow one. I don't, I don't know what kind. That's of a it garden was, spider. But, yeah, yellow one. They're they're yellow. Okay. Um, but uh, I know a lot about bugs. Yeah, I know. For some reason, I, Adam wasn't a child. I was a child. Um, I just didn't like because bugs. Because part of being a boy is collecting bugs. No, I'm sorry. Uh, because that's all I did when I was little. You're a weird like, child. Just then. jars upon jars of bugs. Yeah, that's weird. Millipedes, centipedes, crickets, Gross. grasshoppers, Gross. moths, no. butterflies. Pretty much, you name it, I caught a fuck ton of them. Yeah, it's not normal. Um, it's it is normal. No, I think not. that's a normal kid thing to do. Some catching kids, bugs, not most. That's me, man. Not catching bugs like that, like going crazy like that. No, man. I like to catch them and then observe them. Yeah, that's weird. This is where the scientist began as yeah. a child. And then I would tear all their legs off and see what. No, I'm kidding. So that's the thing. Like you're like a more biologist type guy, where I'm like a physics type guy. I did. I did try to freeze a bee once. Yeah. And then, or it wasn't a bee. Oh, it was a bee. I froze a bee, and then I unfroze it to see if it would be alive. Yeah. It was not alive. <laughs> I would assume not. There actually are animals you could, there are bugs that you could do that to, actually. Yeah. Like, freeze them completely and then bring them back. And I think bees are supposed to, I think that's why I did it, but I don't think I did it right. I think I, 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 think I left it out too much in the fridge, mm. so there was too much frost on it, you know? I think you're supposed to keep it in a really small bag, you know, so it doesn't really freeze over. Uh-huh. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to do that with uh, yeah some sort of bug. I don't remember exactly which. Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird thing. It's cryostasis yeah. or cry- cryonics, as we would call it. Yeah. Thanks to QI, I know the difference. Indeed. Um. But yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. We, uh, you know, cooked brats over campfire. We <laughs> the brat parade continues for Adam. It, it did actually. I have brats. No, too. Here's the thing. You know, I didn't realize I bought a bunch of raw brats from um, High V, yep. and I was like preparing them for like a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, that's no good. Like they last like three to five days. Oh, that that won't make a difference, though. I mean, you kept them in the fridge. Yeah, that's the thing. In the fridge, they last three to five days. I mm, no, I, I looked it up. So. Yes, I, I looked it up. I don't think so. You, according to USDA, three well, to five days. that is different, Adam. Just saying. I I was because I was it had been like a week and a half, and I was like asking my mom, and I was like, so you know, raw brats. They came in like this cardboard paper type thing like a paper bag type uh wrapping and stuff i was like how long should those last in the fridge and she's like yeah you know three days or so i was like oh yeah i should check on that i looked it up and i'm like uh, we are supposed to keep them frozen yeah that's, that's how you're what I'm gonna saying. eat them yeah no they were in the fridge the whole time oh okay um yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's why you take uh Whatchamacallit, you uh, throw them in the freezer and then take out the three or four you need and yeah. let, them, let them 
thought. That'd have been nice day. to know. See, this is why I don't cook. Like, yeah, but I don't th- even... this is why you need to learn. <laughs> Adam, when I try, I do stuff like well, and, that should never be eaten. And now you've learned. Adam, I, we didn't talk about this on air, I don't think. <laughs> Maybe not. But Adam is eating brats for like a week straight because he just bought a lot of brats. Yeah. And wanted to eat them. And they were just by the end of it. I, th- I thought you said the very first day you felt bad. It wasn't them. the, I don't think, yeah, well, it might have been the first day. Yeah. but So I don't think it was that. that actually, was the, thing is, the thing that's funny is I actually started feeling better later on. Your them. body acclimated to the poison that you were feeding it. <laughs> well, I think basically, I think the poison it handled the poison better than it did the fresh brats. Okay, which is probably a bad sign. Oh no, no, that means you got a robust system. You know, <laughs> that means my body is used to poison <laughs> uh, <laughs> and not yeah. fresh food. Well, your body's um, full of anti bratties I guess. Oh wow. That well, was... nice. Thanks done, for sir. listening. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Um, no, that's that. Uh, all right, yeah. So that that's camping. You guys hiked yeah. or whatever, walked around. No, outside. we didn't do that shit. That was <laughs> shit. <laughs> didn't didn't look at any nature. Just set up a tent and hung around in we the were, tent. We were going to do uh, fishing. Um, okay, we didn't in, end up doing that. No, uh, no, no. Well, Keegan was going to go fishing for his first time as well, uh-huh. but his fishing pool ended up breaking, and then oh no, we had some time overruns for other things. So. Yeah. Kind of got pushed. Yeah. So um, you guys went camping but did nothing different than you would if you were just hanging out we at home? We hung out around a campfire and we didn't have, like, internet and stuff. So we talked to each other and... Okay. You know, it was, it's kind of a family bonding type thing. Yeah, we yeah. All, we all suffer together and <laughs> grow stronger <laughs> through okay. that. Okay. <laughs> um, no, but, I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. I got there yeah. probably at, like... Uh, Three something on Friday, and I left at like noon thirty today. <clears throat> yeah, and then went to work. So we had about yeah, and then went to work. Wow, I woke up at eight this morning, or eight thirty. It's oh wow, day. so you're like me. Yeah, you woke up before I did today. Yeah, I woke up was, at like nine thirty. It was a bit, it's been a long day. Yeah, uh, it's been a long weekend. I don't. So that's how you celebrated well. America's Declaration of Independence. Not Yes. Was. Um, oh, my God. That was the other thing. Like, half of Saturday was taken up just with the fireworks because we, like, left at 5. Yeah. And they started at 9.30. So we left at 5 to get a spot by the river uh, bank in, like, the parking lot of this one place. Yeah. And we just kind of sat around and chilled there. Yeah. And then show was, like, it was only, like, half an hour. Yeah, that's why fireworks are bullshit, Adam. Because um, you spend long- you spend more time getting to and away from them than they actually are. Yeah, it was like an hour afterwards we had to wait before we yep, get out. So. Exactly. Um, it that's was why like I only a... ever like going to fireworks shows where like I like I'm just going from a house and just walking back to it. You know, I don't have to like yeah drive away from them with the giant crowd of people. <laughs> yeah. I will say it was totally worth it though because I got to see my cousin, uh, my nephew Keegan. Uh, it was his first time seeing fireworks, and he was mind amazed. blown. Yeah, he was. His mind was blown. He wasn't like a he like a dog, like no. scared shitless. No, at first he just had like this amazed, like you know, kind of o o face where he's like, what? what yeah, the yeah. Shit? And then he kind of like uh, put his blanket up by his mouth, and he's kind of he didn't like. You know, he wasn't, like, super scared or something like that. He just kind of cuddled up next to his mom. Just, and aw. just It was an awe the whole time. Yeah, it was just really, really fun. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Experiencing fireworks through the eyes of a child. Exactly, yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Uh, and their finale was amazing. Like, they... Yeah, yeah the finale is, like, like what I like to call, like, a fireworks bukake. It is. It's, it's exactly just, like, what it shoot is. it all off. Yeah. Hit them good. Mm-hmm. But it was yeah. super impressive. Um, so yeah, we did we did that. We did uh, um, food stuffs and uh-huh. I'm trying to think. I think we did a couple other things too, just around the camp. But I did you make s'mores? We made 
we try <laughs> we tried something new. Okay. Uh, that was like found on Pinterest or something. Oh Jesus. Where you take a waffle. Pinterest cone. is the fucking destruction of hobbies. <laughs> Because you're just like, oh, that looks good, and then you make it, and you're like, that was not as good. Well, a lot of I, cool stuff. My mom's into cooking. Yeah, uh, well, okay. Somebody who actually cool has things some skill that. Yeah, yeah. might be able to do some stuff. But So, yeah, you, you take like... Um, when I know your mom can cook. I've, yeah. I've, I've eaten. Yeah, it's delicious. It is, it is. Um, um, what do yeah, you make? You, you take a waffle cone, and you put... Um, chocolate chips in there and like okay. small marshmallows and you wrap it in foil and put it on a grill oh. and it kind of like all melts into a, a gooey s'more cone oh that sounds freaking amazing apparently they are but i didn't <laughs> the first night we all had them and we were unskilled in the creation of them so yeah. um basically we got them way too hot and Chocolate all melted and went down to the bottom of the cone, but the marshmallow, like, boiled and it evaporated and crystallized <laughs> on the foil. <laughs> <laughs> so it just, like, it melted and Yeah, yeah, I'm sure those you have to keep medium distance from the yeah, fire. Yeah, you, you have to really keep Low an eye key. on them. Uh, they had Slow them, cook. The second night, apparently, they had them and they were perfect, uh, but at that point, I actually wasn't super hungry. I had kind of... Binged on other stuff. Brought it out? Yeah, brought it in, and sub sandwiches and stuff. So. Sub sandwiches? Yeah. You went to Subway? No, we brought bread and meat and made a sub and sliced it up. Wow. Yeah. Did you didn't get good. a Subway party sub? Uh, no. Those are fucking awesome. They're pretty good, yeah. I love a good party sub. Um, that's I basically was... what this was. I mean, yeah. we just made... Slightly smaller ones that were like made of loaves of French bread, and mm. I always like catered like Subway sub <laughs> catering sub. Yeah, it's love the giant it. party sub. Yeah, it's always fun. You get your your dressings on the side. I'm sure you like it too because they never put mayo on it. You know, <laughs> they always have the packets on the side, so you don't have to worry about you know fucking yeah. having it contaminated by the demon mayonnaise. I know the the devil's condiment. Um, it's in deviled eggs. It is. True that. I, love I don't know eggs. what deviled ham is. What is. Do you know what deviled ham is? No, I don't. I always wonder what like, deviled ham is. I'm I don't know it. why. I always kind of thought of it as like pickled, but I don't yeah. think that's necessarily the case. Well, I'm going to find out because there's like deviled ham with like the little devil on the can. Yeah. Since I... 1822, Adam. Yeah. Underwood deviled ham. It's a canned, oh, canned meat spread. Oh, boy. Oh my! Oh, I don't know. So it's just like it's just ham like, salad. Oh, that's yeah. Huh? How about a new way to spice up your egg breakfast? Underwood canned deviled ham spread is the choice for you. Is it kind of like Brunschwager? <laughs> Do you like to know another thing, Adam? Is uh, that deviled ham spread is also available in an ultra portable two point two five ounce container. Oh, nice! Ultra portable. Have you ever have you ever had Brunschwager? Hmm. Have you ever had Brunschweiger? I don't know what that is. I, I, it's some German c- catastrophe. You should look it up real quick. I'm actually kind of curious as to what it actually is. So It's right. like a well, meat paste spread. Deviled ham doesn't have any mayonnaise, though, Adam. Oh, great. It's probably good. Deviled then. ham is ham cured with water, salt, brown sugar, and of sodium nitrate. The, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Preservative. Preservative. The, the thing that makes jerky. Mm-hmm. Um, seasoning. Mustard, flour, spices, turmeric. That's it. Oh, nice. It's just ham and yeah. seasoning. That sounds good. So it's just it's just basically like minced up ham mm. that you can just like spread on a sandwich, basically. That sounds good. That does sound good. Adam, I'm going to buy some. And yeah. See what I can do make. Do it up. Do it, do it dine. I got, yeah, you can make a wrap sandwich. You can make dips. A lot of ham dips. You know, you can make an uh, English muffin breakfast sandwich with the spread instead of that. Look at all these. Look at all these deviled ham recipes. Do you want to find out what Braunschweiger is? Yes, I do. It's probably like fucking entrail meats. Probably. Oh, that looks bad. It's a meat paste like that you spread it is on like crackers a, and stuff. It is, it is, ugh. I've had it before. It doesn't oh, taste they terrible. They have Oscar Mayer authentic Braunschweiger. I see it every all the time in the, the store. It's there, yeah. Uh, mm. What's in it? What's in it? 
I don't know, but it it looks really bad. It looks gray. It's like a gray oh, paste. Oh, in a tube. It comes in a tube. Now you should see the the the, the Wikipedia entry for Braunschweiger. Oh, really? It looks great. It looks like a pepperoni, basically. Really? Like fancy. I think the Oscar Mayer is the bastardized version. Maybe the Oscar Mayer's version is smoke soft and spreadable sausage made from raw minced pork. So it actually sounds pretty close to deviled ham. Oh, it's raw though, I guess. Huh? I didn't know that. Raw? You said raw minced. Or raw. Yeah, raw hmm. minced pork. Oh, so it's raw. Uh, oh, but it's but it's it's not what's raw, but it's not raw because it's cooked it, afterwards? because it's smoked, so it's cooked. Oh, smoked. Okay. But it's not like, you know, like ham. Pre-cooked, like cooked. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, Sure. Whereas deviled, deviled ham is, is pre-cooked ham that's been chopped up. Mm-hmm. Um, U.S. Day. Okay, here we go, Adam. In the United States, Braunschweig refers to a type of liverwurst, liverwurst, pork liver sausage, stuffed in a natural casing, is nearly always smoked. Um, commercial products often also contain smoked bacon and are stuffed into fibrous casings. And the USDA oh. requires that it is a minimum 30% liver. Okay. A typical commercial format is 40% pork liver or a terrifyingly named thing, scalded beef liver. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 30% scalded pork jowl. Ooh, wow. 20% lean pork trimmings. There we are. Mm-hmm. There's the hot dog part. <laughs> yeah. And 10% bacon ends and pieces, but that's just bacon. I've had it. It doesn't taste terrible. Uh, um, yeah, it's just salt, pepper, onion I just powder. I figure it's probably death for you because it's, I think it's, it's liver. I mean, it's really, you know, um, it's very really rich meat. Let's see here. <laughs> a very high amount of vitamin A, protein, and iron, and fat. Tons of fat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how unhealthy it is. I guess I could look at the, uh... I think it's probably mostly fat. Or, mo- mostly fat? Or, I mean, organ meat, which is... Not, yeah. Best let's taken see here, Braunschweiger. In. Let's see, Adam... Mm-hmm. One slice, yeah, which is a quarter inch thick. Uh-huh. You know your typical Braunschweiger is uh, sixty calories. Okay. This doesn't seem so bad, Adam. Mm. Five five grams of fat, seven percent of your daily fat, eight percent saturated fat, ten percent cholesterol. Yeah, cholesterol. That's not ten percent. It's not too bad, man. You make a sandwich with two slices. That's twenty percent. That's not bad. I guess. Fifty percent of your vitamin A, sixty percent of your vitamin B twelve. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. I would have no. assumed it was worse. Yeah, I, I would have thought it was worse too. Okay. Um, Some redeeming quality then to the It's Schweiger. basically like bologna, but mm-hmm. bologna's worse. I hate bologna. Bologna's more calories. Okay. Hmm. It's more fat. I would not have guessed that. Interesting. I'm not saying it's like health food, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. the worst you can have. Okay. Like like a like a, um, yeah. The the smokedness is probably not great. Yeah. Um. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. All the smoked meats aren't. I mean, meat itself, calorie wise, isn't the absolute worst thing you can eat. No, definitely not. Um, oh, summer sausage is worse. Really? 70 calories per slice. Huh. It's like 20 calories more right there. Huh. And I would have thought it would be almost the exact same thing. I guess there's just more uh, more fat in it or something. I don't know. I yeah. love summer sausage, though. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it's pork and beef usually mixed. Mm-hmm. Not as much A, vitamin A, though. No vitamin A in that because there's no liver. Right. <laughs> in that. No organ meat. Yeah, just more fat where the calories come from more saturated fat yeah that, well, yeah, that was that was pretty much my my weekend what about you would did you do anything special for the yeah vacation? i celebrated our our nation's birth mm-hmm. with a friend of the show lance, lance million kill coin oh really yeah well let's talk about my before we get to the weekend because not a, not a ton happened on the weekend but okay so, uh, I saw a movie Thursday night. Uh, okay. In theaters. Yeah? Would you like to, to, perchance, hazard a guess at what movie it was? Did you see this with Lance or not? No, this is just Lauren I saw. This Inside Out? Thursday. No. No. The uh, number one movie of the summer. Jurassic Park? 
No. Oh, number one movie of the summer would be uh, Mad Max, then. Jurassic World. Jurassic what the World? fuck is wrong with you? I said, Jura- I said Jurassic Park. You said Park. Jurassic Park, which isn't the movie that came Whatever. Out. You knew what I meant. Yeah, Jurassic well, you're, you, apparently you are all, among the people that were confused enough to show up and see this thing in the theaters. I did. They thought they were going to go see a good movie. I did. This is Jurassic it. Park. Yeah. Uh, and Mad Max is not even close to having the most money. It's only got, oh, only made like $180 million. Hmm. Like, uh, fucking uh, Avengers made like, fi- you know, a ton, but uh, Jurassic World has surpassed it. Really? Yeah. Have you seen it? No. Don't bother. <laughs> yeah. It's not very good at all. Really? It's really bad. <laughs> um, it's like spectacularly bad. Um, uh, uh, it's a two out of five on the patented Born in the 80s scale. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Two out of five, uh, it gets two because it is so bad that it's funny. Like, it's right. funny bad. Like, it's okay. like a B movie. Sure. Like, it was literally a, like a Michael Bay movie. Like, uh, 100%. How many dinosaurs exploded? Um, there were dinosaurs that were shot with rockets. <laughs> Great. Now, do you want to know the plot of this movie? Yeah. All right. So, the plot is Chris Pratt, right? Yeah. Is like a velociraptor whisperer, basically. <laughs> of course. He, like, can stop the velociraptors from doing stuff, and he, like, controls them. He's yeah, like Robert that... Muldoon, except more... Except if he didn't die. Except for better at his job. Better at his job. Um, <laughs> no, but like his whole, you know, you like see the uh, like people that run with like, like big cats, you know, and sure, stuff. Sure, and they're like, you yeah. know, like learn how to like, you know, get within the pack dynamic of like wolves or something, and like kind of, you know, he he calls himself I'm the alpha of their like little pod of yeah, yeah. raptors basically, and you know he has them named Beta, and you know all all the uh, Charlie and Delta. Sure, sure. So he's the alpha, though. So he's got his crew raptors. He's, like, training, you know? It shows sequence of him, like, training him to, like, jump up and stuff for food. And Anyway. So... Are these... Okay, quick question. Yep. Are these raptors more realistic than the ones in Jurassic nope, Park? Nope, exact they... same stupid raptors. And they actually explain why all the dinosaurs are incorrect in Jurassic Park. Oh, really? Do the yeah, because... Do they um, tampering that they've done? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the the main guy, the Asian actor, and I can't remember his fucking name right now, and I'm pisses me off because I, I I'm I remember names and I can't remember his fucking name. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, he's in he's in Oz. What the fuck is his name? Oz. Yeah. God damn it, Adam. Why do you not know this guy's name? I didn't watch a lot of Oz. You saw some. You saw Jurassic Park. B D Wong. God damn. Okay. I was typing Jurassic World, and I thought about it. I was typing. No, so yeah, he's just like, well, you know, these aren't even real dinosaurs because we've had to, you know, insert so much genetic code. They probably don't even look exactly like they should. And I was yeah. like, ah, ah, there you are. Right. Throw that line in there. Um, so he's, he's a dinosaur whisperer. Right. Okay. I'm going to spoil plot here, but not really. Not de- I don't want to get into the detail detail. I'm guessing but- things go bad. It's so fucking bad that, like, spoiling the plot, it doesn't matter. Like, you could guess immediately what's going to happen based on how simple the plot is. Okay. Um, the kids, like, are going. There's, like, two kids and their parents are like, go see your aunt who is, like, the director of the park operations. And she'll, you know, go all, you know, get to visit on her, you know, on her dime and have fun at Jurassic World. Yeah. And then, like, apparently she and dad are getting a divorce. Uh-huh. During this, and that somehow factors into the plot. Like, there's a little a teary moment where the kid who's riding in the dinosaur ride is like, "Mom and Dad are getting a divorce." <laughs> it's like, what is this weird family drama being brought into this Jurassic world? There's yeah. dinosaur on the loose. Um, no, so the dinosaur uh, in uh, in question is Indominus Rex, right? Mm-hmm. It's a dinosaur they've genetically created to be the biggest, baddest, scariest dinosaur ever made. Because that's a great plan. Exactly. So it's like, you know, let's, let's move beyond the, the uh, Frankenstein allegory that we have mm-hmm. and make Super Frankenstein. Right. <laughs> like, that shit already got fucked up the first time we did this. Let's push the boundary even farther. Okay, so I, I'm kind of curious. Is this actually like a... 
a, a true sequel where the events of previous... Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. 100%. So this happened, like... The coolest parts of the movie are when they go to the old parts of the park. Oh, yeah? So it's on the same island. Oh, okay. And so the, the old parts one. of the park are, like, fenced off, and, like, it's like the... Nobody goes up there. It's all, like, jungled over, basically. Right. But they end up going up there with the other dinosaur because that, I guess that dinosaur is in like a secret black site, testing site up there. Okay. Um, but anyway, so they make this Indominus Rex dinosaur and it's the scariest dinosaur ever made and all this stuff. And Chris Pratt's like, what are you doing? You can't make that, you know, fucking scary dinosaur. You know, you're, you're yeah. toying with nature. And the main character lady who the ant is is like doesn't have time for the kids. She's got all these business meetings to go to for Jurassic World. And, you know, they're trying to get Verizon to sponsor the dinosaur because it's <laughs> like they've got to get money, you know, because yeah. dinosaurs just aren't exciting enough anymore. we got to make something bigger. And I'm like, fuck no. Fuck you. Yeah, they yeah. are. Are you kidding right. me? You watch all the people in the park, minds being blown. Like, <laughs> I would go all the fucking time if it existed. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so <clears throat> they're making this dinosaur and, like, uh, Chris Pratt. All right, so do you want to know what the plot is with Chris Pratt's Velociraptors? Uh, Sure. So the plot is that his Velociraptors, you know, he's training them, and this guy is, like, impressive. You know, the uh, clearly bad guy, you know, shows up Mm -hmm. and is like, oh, it's impressive what you've done with these, you know, dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. It's Vincent D'Onofrio, by the way, this bad guy. Which is great. He looks very evil. And he's like, you know, we need to turn these into a weapon. (laughs) (laughs) Weaponized Velociraptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this big spiel, like the future war is a technology. It's in dinosaurs. We got drones, and they'll get hacked and crashed, you know? Like, that's... You can't hack a dinosaur. (laughs) I was like, wow! (laughs) This is some bullshit. Like... Oh, my God. And then, so the plot is like, he's like, no, you can't use them for military. They're animals. They're free. You know, it's like, oh, my God. And so, anyway, apparently this ant lady who runs the park, uh, she's played by Bryce Dallas Howard, um, she, like, apparently had a thing with Chris Pratt at some point. Yeah. So there's a weird innuendo there and sexual tension that's really not warranted in any way, but just is there. And okay. there's at one point when he's talking to her and there's like a bug buzzing around, and he catches it in his hand. Like all like, woo, I caught a bug. Yeah. Like, what is this? I, Lauren and I laughed out loud when that happened. I mean, because it's all done so seriously, the movie. You know all what right. I mean? But it is fucking retarded. Oh, my. It is so dumb, Adam. Okay. It is so dumb. But it's fun because it's so stupid. Like, I cannot believe that this is the highest grossing summer movie of all time. Hmm. It is really bad. Like, the script is just laughable. Like, it is, like, the worst written big blockbuster movie I've ever seen. And I've seen the Transformers movies, Adam. Yeah. They're better. Uh, even Transformers 2? Mm-hmm. 100%. I don't know about that. No. Definitely. Things... Like the people like say catchphrases and stuff, but they it's not but they, but they're like trying to do that. Like this yeah. movie is like all catchphrases. It's yeah, literally I don't all know if like it's as bad as like you know like it is truck balls though. It, or, well, that isn't a part of the script. That is some directorial choice. I'm oh, sure. you know that's in the script. Okay, fine. But <laughs> there's a point, Adam. So this literally indominant. It, it literally the movie becomes a slasher movie. Where Indominus Rex, who apparently can communicate with other dinosaurs, okay. like tells other dinosaurs to go attack the park. Mm-hmm. It's fucking ridiculous, Adam. <laughs> and, and like the, so like at one point they like go into its cage because they think it escaped and there's claw marks on the wall. And mm-hmm. they like see no heat signature detected or whatever. Yeah. Right? All right, this is plot, plot hole number one, right? No heat signature detected. They're cold-blooded, um, right? And so they go in there. Um, well, no, actually, dinosaurs... Are they warm-blooded? Um, I don't know. I think they were. I believe so, because they're descended... Because, um, birds are descended from there, and they're warm-blooded as well. I think that's part of it. Okay. They could regulate temperature. But anyway, um, maybe not, though. I don't know. Any... (laughs) I wonder, actually. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dinosaurs cold blooded or warm blooded? I'd have thought. I mean, yeah. I mean, reptiles are cold blooded and birds are. Yeah, warm-blooded, but they're so. not reptiles. Yeah. Uh, it's there's debate actually. Debate. Okay. Uh, science is suggesting that they were warm blooded. Okay. So that works. Yeah. We'll give that. Except for that later, there's a point made that the veloc- or that the dinosaur has a chip a tracking chip inside it. <laughs> so they get basically trapped themselves in the pen with it. Yeah. By just looking at like no heat signature detected. Oh, it's not in there. Never mind, let's not check the tracker that we know is in there and someone right. else looks up later <laughs> wow. to see if it's in there. And literally someone on the main base is like the tracker shows it's in the pen still. And they're like, "Oh my god, it tricked us." Yeah, because we're too dumb to look at the computer screen before that says you out. Yeah. where it is. Anyway, it was really dumb. And so they're like, yeah, and they're like, oh, okay. It's like, it can mask its heat signature. I guess maybe it just went in some mud or something. Yeah, I don't know, fucking know. Let's do some solid snake shit. Yeah. You know, I don't fucking know. But anyway, what, what are you doing that to mask your heat signature? You sit um, in the fridge for a while, I think. And you can I... walk through the room. Do you have, like, how many seconds to walk when you've done it? I don't remember. Anyway. I don't know what game that is. So I, uh, I don't the first Metal Gear Solid. It's, there's a card that's, like, heat sensitive. Oh. You have to keep it. Yeah, you have to, like, have to, like go into, yeah, there's different The freezer for have, a like, long time, and yeah, then you can yeah, walk yeah. out and use it. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, so, I don't know. But anyway, so they, like, send off, like, this team of people to, to take this thing down. And she's sure. like. Don't use lethal methods. That's a twenty-nine million dollar dinosaur we got out there. And the guy and Chris Pratt's like, "Well, you're gonna have a lot of dead lives, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> if you do that." <clears throat> and they literally show the screen of like all these guys like head cameras, right? Mm-hmm. And they have their little like like fucking alien, like their little beeps uh, like radar with like like their heartbeat sensors sure, sure. and they're watching the screen where they like send a team in to the last known location and they see that it's like the tracking chips on the ground because it tore it, it out of its like back mm-hmm. it ripped its tracking chip out is it new i don't fucking know it's a dinosaur i guess it's new um and and it's amazing and literally the guy's like looking around and doesn't see where it is, and they look up and then you see kind of the foliage moving, and it's like camouflaged itself, like a chameleon. <laughs> and they're like, "It's kid camouflage," and then it like dives and like rips a guy in half, and you're like, oh "My God, this is fucking dumb!" Like it is so dumb, Adam. Wow, it is awful. Um, I mean, I could I could just mention all of the ridiculous moments. And one-liners, mm-hmm. and pff, it's just awful. It's it's awful, Adam, and it's a disgrace. But, but, I really enjoyed watching it. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know those types of movies. I do. Yeah, yeah. Where you're like, this is so dumb, but it's funny how dumb it is. Yeah. I mean, dude, this movie was spitting one-liners like commando level. <laughs> one line i mean it was like wow like really you're gonna say that with a straight face yeah you know oh my god and then he like rides motorcycle with the velociraptors with mm-hmm. while they're out hunting you know and he's like the leading the pack around it's right it's ridiculous it, it is ludicrous beyond all levels of any sort of sanity and uh that's it really okay the dinosaurs blow up the park again, Adam. Who would have thought? Yeah. I won't spoil the ending ending of how they defeat Indominus Rex because I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. Kind of cool. A little throwback nod to the old movie. All right. Uh, which is kind of fun, but I, well, I won't spoil it, so you can watch it. And I would recommend seeing it. I mean, two out of five, I can't in good conscience give it a positive rate review. Yeah. Because it's just shitty and just kind of a waste I mean, to be fair, though, I mean, the only good movie out of all of those, really, is the first one. Yeah. The second one had some cool parts, some cool moments, but... Yeah. And some nice action set pieces, but it wasn't a really good movie. And then the third one's an incomprehensible mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this movie just... The greatest crime is it didn't feel like a Jurassic Park movie. You know, they didn't really spend a lot of time in the park. Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay. A lot of it was not like... Because part of the great greatness of that first movie is just kind of the wonder of like seeing how they built a theme park yeah. around dinosaurs. And this movie, there's like shots where they show... You know, like a SeaWorld type exhibit with a mosasaur, mm-hmm. you know, jumping out of the water and splashing the first five rows, you know. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would have liked to have seen a lot more of that, you know. But Yeah, well, one of the coolest things about the first movie was like all the different presentations they had for the people. That, well, that, it just felt um, like, okay, this is what a theme park would be like, you know. Yeah, exactly. It felt like a living, breathing theme park that you could actually go to. Yeah. With, the, you know, the cheesy intro things, the rides, the, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know signs like keep your hands inside vehicles at all times you know all sorts of fun stuff like that i don't know this really was disappointing in how this wasn't good you know yeah it was dumb i'm really i do want to see inside out though i want to talk about that i do want to see that um let's see here adam i i I, I want to pose a question to you here okay so you're you go to walgreens very much uh, I've been there a few times. Yeah? Yeah. Is the, Now, I just want to throw this my opinion about this out right now. Okay. But Walgreens is, hands down, the worst checkout experiences I've ever had. I've been at Walgreens. Huh. Is that the case for you? Um... Like, it I, always seems yeah. at Walgreens, for the amount of people that are there, and the usually small amount of groups of items that people have... Yeah. It takes the longest to check out. Hmm. I want to explain to how every single Walgreens trip what happens for me. And um, this happened last time. Okay. I went to buy fucking sour cream because I didn't fucking have any sour cream. Lauren needs sour cream on her tacos. Well, yeah. Obviously. No. I mean, it's no. a nice addition, but it's not it's necessary. not a taco if there's no sour cream. Well, it is. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I, I get the sour cream. And, like, I don't remember. I think I grabbed, like, a can of soda or something and something mm-hmm. else. So I got, like, three things. <laughs> oh, I got beef jerky because it was on sale. Um, and I get in line. There's, like, three people ahead of me. Mm-hmm. One cashier, of course. Not not two or three. Yeah. Um, there's three people ahead of me. Um, and the person checking. This person works at the Walgreens that I live near. And they are the slowest. And this is not just the only time I've ever had a long wait at a fucking Walgreens checkout yeah. because there's the other there's other ones in towns that I've had to wait ages for mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about Walgreens it must be something systemic with either the type of people that go to Walgreens or the type of people they hire to run the cash register or their cash register system just being slow as hell yeah because I mean there's three people ahead of me there's an old lady who takes fucking forever and then they move on to the next one right and then somebody swoops in and opens up the register right Mm-hmm. the second register and she says I can help the next in line so the per- two person two people in front of me goes over there right yeah. and I'm standing back and I got my choice which line do I get in here I can go left where yeah. the lady's just starting to check out and she's turning on everything or mm-hmm. in front of me where I got two people in front of me and for some reason I tr- decide to kind of not jump over to the new line immediately yeah it was a huge mistake biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life I <laughs> not being hyperbolic here either. Um, so I stay in my lane, Adam. Yeah. And I'm kind of straddling both lanes, you know, doing the straddle. Yeah. You know, where I'm just like, I'm going to see which how this pans out, right? Yeah. And this happens to me every fucking time at Walgreens, Adam. <laughs> that they fucking open that second register, and I'm doing the straddle, and someone walked past me in front of me and yeah. stood in line over there. And I was like, I'm kind of half in line here. I have obviously well, haven't made a choice. Well, no. You can't, you can't straddle. No, because I've done this before at Walgreens where there's two checkouts and you stand in the middle and someone lines up behind you and a line forms and everyone just goes to the first register available. That's the most efficient way to do it rather than having two lines. Because my line took forever because a fucking person in front of me wanted goddamn ones as changed, like ten of them. <laughs> and then the fucking lady had to call the manager up to refill the register, which took a while. Yeah. And then she took forever to check me out. Took forever to check the lady out in front of me because she had a fucking coupon that wasn't working. Oh, my God, Adam. It was fucking insane. Adam, the line to the left of me got four or five people through before it got to me. Wow. And she left that register as I was checking out. I was like, great. That's fucking great. 
I fucking hate Walgreens, Adam. Wow. It never works out for me. That is nine yeah. times out of ten. I literally don't go there because I know I'm going to hate it. My experiences have not been like that. I, I don't know. It is the worst, Adam. Hmm. Either that or someone will walk over from cosmetics and be like, oh, I can open up the cosmetics register for you. Because I see you're fucking waiting here with this sour look on your face for fucking yeah. the last ten minutes. Because the person in front of you has got ten fucking bottles of water they're trying to buy with some coupon that doesn't even work. Oh, my God, Adam. And the last yeah. time I was at – another time I was at Walgreens, there was some chick in line – on her fucking phone, having this loud conversation while the lady's trying to check out her shit, right? Yep. And she's, like, trying to swipe this car, and it's not fucking working, like, ten times, Adam. And the lady's like, card's not working. And she's not even paying attention, mm -hmm. so she's not even trying to pay in any other way. And eventually, she fucking drags another card out, fucking pays with that, wasting five minutes of my goddamn life. She's arguing with her friend on the phone. I fucking hate Walgreens, Adam. I hate I it. I hate it. I wrote it down specifically to yell about it. Okay. I got another rant. Oh, great. Have you noticed any differences in, like, movie theaters or watching movies in the last, like, decade? Only that's gotten more expensive. Have you noticed anything about, like, like the, like, the, like the movie theaters, like, going to see a movie, what the experience is like? Uh, not really. Other than there's way more commercials and stuff. Okay, yeah. That's true. That's I mean, like the people it. that go to the movies, like like the the like the the movie going experience, the crowd. No, that that seems about the same. I I want to say this. Small sample size, right? I've yeah. probably only seen like five movies. At the uh, not the non Sundance, the Sundance is perfect every time, but the non Sundance movie theater. This isn't always the case. You know, I'll go to a, a midnight showing of a Marvel movie, right? Mm -hmm. perfect because the people there are there but when i go to movies this happens every fucking time there are fucking people just talking the entire movie this happens to me all the time adam does this happen to you like literally during jurassic world the the group like two rows up were yeah. having a barely <clears throat> muffled conversation for the entire two-hour movie really like, why are you going to a movie if you're yeah. not going to watch the movie like, this happens all the time. The people behind me were whispering things to each other, like, loudly for enough for me to understand. Like, oh, watch out. Like, what, yelling watch out to the fucking movie crowd? What the fuck, people? I haven't like, noticed that at all. I, there was the one people time... People turning their phones on in movies happens all the time now. I don't see that either. This really. happens all... People just texting, like, opening up their phone. No. Fucking bright white screen, you know, fucking showing. That happened to me... It's like, people can fucking see this, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing? It just, it just <laughs> bothered me, because I, I feel like this is just, this, like, last year, I've noticed it more. You know what I mean? Like, the Sundance doesn't ever have this problem. Yeah. Because it costs more. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? So, it's like, if you're, like, really into movies, you're going to mm -hmm. go to this place, because there's, you know, they don't play ads or anything. Yeah. The seats are nice. The theaters are usually really nice. You know what I mean? And yep. it's a little bit higher end. You know what I mean? Sure. So you're going to cut out the people who are just showing up to talk through an entire movie. Because they, why would you pay $10 or, you know, $12 to talk through a movie instead of 10 You know? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think it also has to do, Adam, mm -hmm. I got a theory. Um, with the fact that the Marcus Theater in town, where most yeah. of my bad experiences have been, has a uh, alcohol service now. Oh. Huh. I think that's it. Because they because they they have a bar where you can yeah. get drinks now, like alcoholic drinks, and you can get them and bring them into the theater. Okay. Um, the, the loud talking couple behind us left multiple times to get refills of their alcoholic beverages. I see. So I feel like people are just getting wasted in theaters and and loudly Maybe talking. Maybe that's over it movies. because we don't really have that. There's like one theater in town I think that does that. I, I haven't. Well, got the Sundance has so. alcoholic drinks. Yeah, <laughs> but that doesn't happen there. Yeah. It just bothers me because it's like it's really rude. Like it's terrible. It is, yeah. Like I've been taught that you are silent in a movie theater, other than a move over into someone's ear and whisper like something quiet, you know, right? Not loudly talk the entire fucking movie. I mean, it's happened multiple times, Adam. Ugh, Weird. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. Ugh. 
That and people that comment on trailers loudly. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone's just like, wow, that looks great. Or like to the Transformers 4 trailer. And you're like, really? Does it? <laughs> Thanks for your opinion. <laughs> like, okay. I just love that. Or people that clap. Yeah. And like movies where it doesn't like need to be clapped at the end of it. You're like, yeah. All right. That is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought clapping in movie theaters was bad. I'm trying to think of when. When have you clapped in a movie theater? Uh, I don't think I ever have, but I, I, there have been once or twice. Star Wars prequels, I believe, have all had claps. Maybe. I there was a little bit of clapping in the theater when I went. I to remember see, the first one. When I went to see the Avengers two, and um, spoiler alert. Oh Mission what? Fuck up. no. No spoiler alert. You sh- if you haven't seen this movie by now, <laughs> you don't give a shit about the plot. That's true. <laughs> um, but spoiler alert, I guess. When uh, Vision picks up Thor's hammer, I think yeah, yeah. there was a little bit of like cheering and, and clapping. <laughs> but, All the people uh, that cheered, late, like that was the scarlet letter that they put on their <laughs> chest. That like, I am not someone who is the cool person. Yeah. Because I don't, I understand if you know the significance of that, but to cheer it out loud, I, I guess, I makes you know. a special type of person, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, it's like a person I, who openly wears a kilt. Hey, kilts are comfortable. No, I don't give a shit. Not wearing my pants is comfortable too, but I fucking do that. Why then? Uh, because it's a society with rules of law. Hey, listen, as long as your decency? junk is covered, you're good. No. Nope. Yeah. Yep. This is, you're not people... Like, I have said this rule a thousand times. <laughs> that you are not allowed to wear sweatpants in public. Or athletic shorts. Unless you're going to or from an athletic thing. And the only no, times I'm you can be wearing them. That's just... That's or, just... At one other, one other, you're sick. No. You're like ill. No. And you're like, I gotta get out. To the store to buy some chicken noodle soup to get rid of this cold. I'm going to wear my sweatpants. That's just being snooty. It's not being snooty. It's it being a, a decent human being. No. No, I'm not, wa- I'm not reading. I'm not looking at your juicy booty shorts. Gross-ass fucking Walgreens line. <laughs> not doing it. When I have kids, I'm teaching them the rules. That's Whatever. a societal rule. It's not a society rule, it's your rule. It's a, it's a rule of the society that I want to be a part of. Wow. Well, so I'm going to enforce it, or at least let people know about it. And they could choose whether or not they want to live in my society, Adam. Kilts are perfectly acceptable. This is my declaration of independence from tools. <laughs> and douchebags. perfectly and, acceptable. No. God, yes. no. Never. Absolutely. Never. A kilt is acceptable during a Scottish war reenactment. No, nope. or a Scottish wedding, or a Scottish funeral. No, nope. any of the or a caber toss, like a Scottish athletic event. <laughs> Anything in Scotland, you're allowed. Nah, I don't. No, nope. no, Adam, you are on the wrong. You know what, Adam? You will find you are on the wrong side of history in this I, argument. Nope, sorry. Yes, you are. This is America. Yeah, Land not the, fucking medieval nope. Scotland. Land of the free. Where would I want? Yeah. Whether Home of the brave. Sweat, whether it be the sweatpants. People brave enough to stop people from wearing kilts. Or brave enough to wear kilts. No. Yes. That's not bravery. That's, that's sheer grossity. That is comfort. I don't care. Utila kilt is the worst thing ever invented by mankind. <laughs> Worse even more than, than, than like the Iron Maiden or other medieval torture devices. That is just... No, because they're more widely used. More people are exposed. I don't care. It's the worst for society. No, it's not. Yes, Adam. Nope. Nope. I I could go on. No need. I hate it all. I know you do. You hate everything. You hate everyone. That that is true. I do hate everything. So (laughs) that falls under the category of something. So it is part of the everything that I hate. Exactly. Um, we don't have too much more time here. We're no. trying to keep this episode short because because of Adam's camping trip that he refused to let <laughs> me know of ahead of time. 
Yeah, I for, kind of forgot about it. I was unable to plan recording on not a night that I have to wake up well, early tomorrow to work. here's the thing. There's no way around that. Because... That's also true, because, Adam, let's talk about the thing that happened to you. Because... Let's end it off with that story, because I've ranted enough. I got... Sure. I want to talk about Kingsman as well. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, I watched Kingsman and Heavy Metal and drank Miller Lite with Lance is what happened. Awesome. And we played darts, yeah. and I annihilated him in one game, and... Then the other game he won. It was by four <laughs> points. It was oh. close. He also okay. beat me in pool, but I staged comeback, and we were tied for a while. Hmm. So we both we both determined we're evenly not very good at bar games. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that, that was it. I really didn't do much other than drink and watch those movies. We'll talk about both of those movies next week. Cool. Um, but yes, continue. Um, Out of the internet. Yes. I experienced an issue on Thursday, my day off. Yeah. Day off. You, I got your for the your holiday. holiday day off, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um. At where while I was asleep at around nine forty five a.m., uh-huh. my internet went out. So okay. I woke up in an internetless world on Thursday. <laughs> you woke up in the netless world. I did. Okay. Uh, at first, I thought maybe like it was just like a maintenance thing that went over, or like a local outage or something. Yeah, you gotta you gotta unplug and yeah. plug in the router. You but know, my, I reset everything. I did all that. Yeah, mm, still down. Check okay. my phone. I had phone internet, not. Um, you you know. had four G. Yeah, so I checked my Comcast app, and no outages reported. So I gave him a call. Um, they did, you know, the stuff on their end where they tried to do a reset and all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still nothing. I was well and truly down. And I could tell, too, because, like, for, I could see on my modem that, you know, the power was on, but nothing else was up. It was like, like we I got was, nothing. Nothing. It's like, hey, sorry. I can't help you. Yeah. <laughs> so I, think, I figured it was a wire issue somehow. Yeah, somewhere out in yeah. the world, someone fucking right. was digging. <laughs> yeah, somebody cut, mowed over, cut through cable a cable line, or squirrel yeah, chewed yeah, on yeah. it, or something like that. Yep. Um, and so I, I called them, scheduled somebody to come out. Of <laughs> course, they can't come the same day. Of course <laughs> not. Why so would like, they be able to fix your internet? You no. know what, though, Adam? What? When inter- internet is going to be considered a utility. Yeah. There are going to be laws that are going to affect that. Oh. Eventually. So. Doesn't help you this week, but... No. Um, I mean, like, if your power is out, and, let's say... Yeah. They have to send someone out. <laughs> they have to yeah. have someone 24-7. Right. You know, because, like, power, internet is becoming pretty necessary, it, you know, It, it really lives. is, and that was impressed upon me. Yeah, you realized how connected... You don't realize how connected yeah. you are until you lose it. Exactly. And, yeah, this uh, has happened to me before. They told me the earliest thing could come out was the next day between, like, 10 and noon. Wow. Which, I, I think actually, my longest outage has been, like, boy, probably, like, hours. three or four hours, yeah, maybe. Yeah. And, they, and then I'll go on the Charter website, and they'll be like, you know, had a, you know, what, a relay box issue. These, yeah. you know, streets are affected. We'll be Mine fixed was cut. We in the next three hours. Well, yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, so I was looking at a good 24 hours with no internet. <laughs> um, Get you break out the DVDs. I uh, actually played some, yeah, yeah, we did. Me and Ryan watched a couple uh, DVDs, watched Brick. We hadn't seen Brick, and uh, we really liked it. That movie's pretty good. It is pretty good. I hadn't seen it in a long time. Um, I like that. Rian Johnson, man. Yeah. Directing uh, the, another uh, Star Wars movie, one of the Star Wars movies. Yeah, totally. The Fucking second for one, him. or the his, ninth. His story is incredible, too, of how yeah. he, he became a director. Oh, yeah? You know? You do, do you know anything about it? Uh, not really, no. His uh, family is, like, big into movies, right? Yeah. Like, a big movie buff family. Yeah. You know, so his grandfather and his father are, like, way into movies, you know, collecting movie memorabilia and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and so he got way into movies and got into directing. And so, basically, his family funded Brick. Oh, really? Yeah, they paid for Brick. Wow. And that got big, and now he is a director who directed Looper, you know, like, big yeah, movie. Yeah. Um, and now he's, like, a legit, like, really successful director. Yeah. And his start was because his family believed in him. <laughs> you That's know what great. I mean? Like, how cool yeah. is that? 
Like, how it's great heart, is that? Heartwarming. You know? Make money back for your family because Brick, you know, did really well for how low the budget was. Mm-hmm. You know, and even though I, I think I like that movie. I it, love it. It by, it by no means is, like, you know, greatest movie ever made. But for someone who's first time directing a movie, yeah. like, to have such a unique and interesting concept that's executed that well is great. Like, yeah. man, that's that's good. It's really good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so we, we watched some movies. We uh, played some games that could be played without internet. So some Naruto? Uh, no. Wow, no Naruto fighting game? Uh, actually, you can play on PS4 downloaded games. Um, most of them, anyways. If they're active and they're not in the library. Yeah, yeah. We played some Nidhogg. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a fun game. Single player pl- passing back and forth. <laughs> You don't have two controllers. Not yet. You need to get a second controller, man. I'm planning on getting a second controller very soon. Um, I see specials all the time where they're like 45 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll pick one up sometime. I played some Assassin's Creed uh, 4, Black Flag. Okay. Flight. Getting into the uh, backlog of disc games. Yeah, I actually kind of want to play more of that because I forgot how fun that is. I really it enjoyed it. It is really good. Driving my ship around. It was yeah, pretty yeah. Cool. The ship stuff is really unique and fun. <laughs> Yeah, to definitely. be a, like a pirate, it's a lot of fun. I yeah. love I love destroying ships and fucking. Oh yeah, them and the ship murdering battles captains. look gorgeous too. Like yeah, it's good stuff. Great game. So I did a little bit of that. We also went over to uh, my mom and stepdad's house and hung out there, um, <laughs> where the internet was, <laughs> where the internet was, where we could watch a movie with them and eat eat dinner. And stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, that was most of my Thursday, and then uh-huh. Friday I was going to the the campground, but I had to hang around here until. At least the internet, the internet was taken care of. Yeah, I had to be yeah, here yeah. for the guy. You have Comcast, right? I do. I have Comcast. It's Comcastic. Yeah. And I'd also gone, kind of gone outside myself just to take a look around the house to see what was, you know. You see oh. if you could just see a fucking sparking cable. Yeah. Loose. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was, I actually had trouble because I thought it was on one side and I couldn't really see anything there. Yeah. Like there's a, kind of like a box on the side of the house, but I think there was nothing attached to it. Yeah. And then um, I, I've got a couple other wires, but they like go to old dish stuff that like previous owners have, yeah, you know, used. So I couldn't really find exactly where it was. The cable guy comes on Friday, yeah, and he's like he's looking for it too. Uh, and I said, well, I think you know in the basement I know the wires go through here, and I think it comes out this side of the house. And I said, the problem oh god, the spider basement. No, I, we didn't have to go down there. Oh um, good, oh good. I told him, I, but I think it comes out this side, but I couldn't really find a hookup there. I just saw this little box, but there's nothing attached to it. Yeah, yeah. And then, so he came over and took a look at it, and he's like, um, yeah, that's it. And they looked around a little bit and looked up. Yeah. Which I did not do. Oh, no. <laughs> and a hook head, like, turned sideways, and he looked across the street. And the thing is, I, I didn't realize, I didn't know where my cable came in from. But there are uh, like power lines and cable lines across the street, uh-huh. and then it goes uh, it goes over across the street, and it's supposed to go over across the street onto that hook and down to the box, and some kind of like tall vehicle had come and hit the <laughs> cable. It fucking ripped the entire cable out the side of my house, and um, it was like coiled down at the bottom of the other side of the street. Wow! Where somebody had pulled it out of the road and like coiled, put it in a pile over there. Wow! Hanging down. Um, so he, he got out a ladder and he fixed like the hook up top of my house and then he like strung it up yeah. and hooked it over and, and back down into the cable box and, you know, put another plug on the end and reattached it. Yeah. But yeah, like somebody had just driving by who had like a big truck that was tall and had like a ladder on it or something and just, they'd driven through and there was not enough clearance and it, it pulled the cable out of yeah, my house. I, I've been there. That's yeah. not a particularly low hanging no, either. it's it's not. That's like, it's that's, like 20 that's, feet almost. Yeah, it's power cable height. Yeah. So somebody came with some bullshit semi. Yeah. With something stacked on top of it or something. Or like maybe a moving truck or something. Moving, I don't yeah, know. with a big ladder. Yeah. Out. A big box top truck or something. But Jesus. Yeah. And I, they hit it like at 9 a.m. And they, I had no internet because the cable was ripped out. Well, I mean, there's not really anything you could have done either to no, fix that. No. I guess it could have. Well, if you had a coax, like Jack, and the ladder, yeah. right? But uh, that's yeah. I don't even. I don't feel good about handling. So did this uh, maintenance request show up on your bill as like charge. Well, here's the thing: 
I Comcast I like, does. I don't think does that, but sometimes they do shit like that. Comcast deal is they will take care of anything if the problem is outside of the house. Yeah, which this is. I this, mean, this is, is not you. They they pay for it. Yeah. Um, if it's inside the house, if it's in line in house wiring, then yeah. I would pay for the visit and whatever cost. Yeah. Uh, if I didn't have like the insurance, which is like four bucks what? a month or something. You sell insurance? Which I purchased. So <laughs> why? I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you why I did. I did because I had an issue with my cable line. Yeah. And people had come out and they couldn't find anything wrong with the line outside. Yeah. And then the thing is, if you pay it, even like just for a month or two, um, she's like, we can send somebody out. She says, before we do that, I can add this to your account. Uh, it's like four or five bucks. She says, you can take it off next month if you want to. Yeah, but if we find the problem inside your house and need to rewire it, then it will save you a bunch of money. So it's basically like five bucks down to you know, yeah, to gamble on whether or not it's inside your house or not. Yeah. So I got it, came down, and this guy actually did completely like rewire my cable inside. Wow. Um, I think I may still have it on there because I just didn't get rid of it, and I probably mm-hmm. should. Yeah, you definitely but, should. But uh, why does that even count then? What do you mean? This sounds like the the that, that sounds like. Well, from what I mean, she told that me that sounds right. like insane because like, what is that even like? Um, well, it, it what's would the cost, point then of that being insurance if you're just going to pay for it right before someone comes out? Then it's not really insurance. Well, you could, you could. Um, so it's like I, gambling, they, spending money. Yeah, if if they wanted to, they could probably not tell me about that and that fucked me over so i don't i don't know if that's part of what they do or if that's just some nice you know somebody i was talking to who said you know you know before we have somebody at your house you could do this yeah um but you know i i actually don't really mind paying three or four bucks a month to not have to worry about that shit because they they told me when i called them i i said i don't know i i'm almost certain it's the line because there's nothing coming to my modem at all and they said, they looked at my account and they said, well, you got the thing, so no matter what it is, you're good. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. And she says, if you see a charge on your bill for it, call us, we'll take it off. Yeah. So, hopefully they don't charge me for it, but even if they do, I can just yeah. give them a call and get it back. But yeah, that was that was my, my internet adventure where I went a day without internet. I had had my phone for anything i i got into a uh the other big thing i used happened this week was the supreme court thing yeah I, I got into a facebook feud what how i don't know i usually don't i i usually don't bite Adam. when i see something Adam, like you of all people when i see you stuff are in, the most passive person usually i know when i see stuff in my timeline that's just bullshit i usually don't take the bait but i usually just close it i i I just delete it somebody i knew from high school had posted i I think the reason why because it was a double thing for me it was like yeah said something like a rainbow is a symbol of god's covenant and not gay pride or something like that Uh which got me on both counts because i am both atheist and a supporter of gay rights so yeah yeah I don't know. I just had, and also my internet was down, so I didn't have a whole lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my Facebook on my phone. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I just started. Yeah. Commenting, got into a man, Adam. To a thing. Don't you get yourself into trouble? I won't. I won't get myself into trouble. I'm not. Don't be burning no bridges. I'm pretty sure this is not. I like a bridge. the kerfluffle that happened over the. The celebrate pride thing that made the colors on your profile oh, picture people, happen. Yeah, people being like, people being like, oh, it's tracking. It's like, yeah, you fucking signed up for it. Like, yeah. what do you expect? Well, it's like, Facebook. What you, <laughs> you everything click you do on a thing Facebook to is... install a thing on Facebook. Yeah. Of course, everything yeah. on Facebook tracks you. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was dumb. Like, just like really, come on. Like, obviously. I'm not, yeah. you know, anyway. I thought that was funny. 
Um, Indeed. I think that's it for me. I think that's it. I think we're all done. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, that is it. Uh, I think we're all done. So you can go to borninthe80s.net to see the website and all that yes, kind of can. stuff. Um, other than that... Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter, too. Somebody tweeted us today about... Uh, what? The cat cat app. Who tweeted at us? They sent us a... Oh, man. Well, how do I not have this? It just happened like a couple hours ago. What? And I want to... I'm gonna. I don't want to mispronounce his name. Well, so wait. See if, can you see if I can link, find link me? How do I not have the? Oh, wait. Notifications. There it probably is. Yeah, it's probably there. Yep. Oh, Andrew. Andrew C. We'll say. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he's... Uh, yeah, yeah, You can make profile pictures of cat butts. That's correct. <laughs> and he sent us a nice little picture of cat butts. That's right. It's so, mostly cat butts. Yeah. This is a great game, though. Greatest game ever made. Totally. I would, I would, <laughs> I'm not... I don't think I'm going too far with that, either. Yeah, thanks no, yeah. for uh, tweeting that. Yeah, I, you can <laughs> catch us on I'm, Twitter. I'm still partial to Fallout Shelter, but yeah. Well, that's like a real game. This is like a dicking around on your phone. Yeah. Checking to see what weird cats you find every once in a while. I'll have to put some pictures on, on Twitter of some weird, weird cats. <laughs> um, pod directory. Someone submitted board in the 80s to pod directory. Really? That wasn't me. Hmm. Did I have me do that? I don't know what pod directory is. So no. All right. Thank the listener who did that. It's probably like you get a virus if you click on this. <laughs> it says claim your podcast. Always the optimist. So I th- I think this is this is some bullshit. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. Well, you can also email us at bitecast at gmail.com. Yeah, I, I just checked it. We haven't gotten anything since... Uh, I don't know. Some fucking weird Joyride CEO wants to share revenues for your podcast. Great. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, no, that's an update. Sorry. My primary. Mm. Uh, we got a, Brett and emailed us about Ready Player One book. Oh, yeah. I already yeah. pre ordered that. Brett. Um, Brett! Audible. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty I good. I spent a credit to pre order Armada. Nice. Yeah. I don't have that now. Yeah? I should get it back. Nice thing about it, though, is if you're done with it, you're done with it. Yeah. You know? And then you just come back. I can just sign up again. And get another I've been credit. paying for, like, the two-credit one, and it's... it's. Uh... I mean, if you're going to use it, it's worth it. Yeah, Holy totally. cow. Like, e-book, or like, audiobooks are expensive as hell. They are. Like, man, $15 for an audiobook is, like, a third of the price of, like, the... You know what yeah. I mean? Like, the, the, the buy it off the shelf. So, right. heck, man. It's a good way. It's a, I love that service. I just... I just, uh, I don't know. I don't have the time right now. Um, anyway. Also, uh, uh, Ashton Kusher is married to Mila Kunis in a secret ceremony in L.A. Aww. Apparently not secret enough. Aww. Uh, and Dragon Ball Super debuted in Japan. Did it? Yeah. First episode. I didn't, I didn't think that was coming out until after Resurrection F. We're going we're gonna to have it. Also, Kit Harrington's hair is super long. Ah, uh, Yeah. That that there's pictures of him at at uh, I think the, is it Wimbledon tennis, that's happening right yeah, now whatever tennis whatever thing. tennis thing is happening this weekend he is uh, yeah it's at Wimbledon yep his long hair is long live Jon Snow giving it away yeah who would have thought I mean come on we all knew this yeah all right well thanks for listening and we will catch you next week bye hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do you have a uh, topics list or? No, not really. What? Just gonna talk about Fourth of July, probably. <coughs> but the red, white, and blue, and my internet situation. It's the red, white, and blue. All the funny things you do, America. America.
America. This is you. We got maps from coast to coast to make you smile. A real bad look at each of you to capture all that style. You're the Store, they never told you 